Hey, everybody, welcome. It's Legal Vices, and I'm welcoming you to Last of Us Season 1, Episode 8, a spoiler-filled, unprofessional, unedited, one-take review. The second-to-last episode of the season. We're building up. The tension's there. We had our terrible events from the last episode. Now what's going to happen this episode? Let's find out. This episode is titled, When We Are In Need. Starts out with the Game of Thrones for Virus's opening. And there's some snowy mountains, a beautiful lake, a little village at the edge of the lake. And as the camera's panning through the town, it says that it is Silver Lake, Colorado. But it's not. That's It's all messed up. Silver Lake is a tiny lake northwest of Boulder, which would be an appropriate location for, uh, you know, after they escaped from the university and uh, Joel got stabbed in the stomach with a broken baseball bat and they got just outside of town not very far before he collapsed. That would, would put them kind of somewhere around the area of, of Silver Lake, Colorado. But there's no village at the edge of, of Silver Lake, Colorado. And also... The uh, zip code on the post office for Silver Lake, Colorado was 81303, which is, in fact, for Durango, Colorado. And Durango, Colorado is in the very southwest corner of Colorado, sort of down around the Four Corners area, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. Not up in, like, uh, the, the towards the middle eastern part of Colorado where where boulder is anyway i'm a nerd forget about that just just one of those weird little things that annoy me occasionally and it starts out there's a church congregation they're having a funeral a girl asks when they can bury her father uh, the preacher says that we can't bury her until spring because the ground is too cold and then uh, the preacher and another guy named jesse they're talking after after the service and they say the town only has about two weeks of food left. So a preacher and dude decide to go out hunting. And then it cuts back to Ellie, who's taking care of Joel. They also need food. So Ellie, she takes a rifle and goes out hunting. Now, again, if you've played the game, you know where this goes. This is leading up to one of the big boss fights, one of my favorite boss fights. It's a great great time and uh, let's let's see how this plays out uh first of all it's a little bit different than the, than the game in the game she went out with a bow and arrow uh in the movie she took the rifle and went out hunting she sees a rabbit and uh she's looking at it but the rabbit hops away in the game she shoots the rabbit but you know not a big deal she runs after it and she trips and she does a face plant in the snow and She's all sad because the rabbit got away. And again, good part of the game. Because there's a deer. Pew! She drops the deer. Just poof, laced it. Boom. Dropped it. And she's like, oh my gosh, can't believe I did that. And then the preacher do, and, the, and the other dude, Jesse, they come out and they, they see the deer. And Ellie's nowhere to be seen. And they're looking at the deer thinking, hmm... We can take this back, but ooh, this blood's fresh. Uh, whoever shot it might be around. And while they're doing this talking, Ellie comes out with the rifle and tells them to drop their weapons. And they do. And right there on the spot, Ellie barters for half of the deer in exchange for some medicine from the town to help Joel. So the preacher sends Jesse back to camp to get the penicillin. And he's like, really? And he's like, yeah, I'm not sending you a code here. Go back and get it. And uh, while they're waiting for uh, Jesse to come back. Ellie and the preacher, they sit and talk. Now in the game, they got swarmed by a bunch of infected and they had to like fight it out together, but that didn't happen in the, in the, in the, in the show here. It didn't happen in this episode. They're just sitting and talking and Ellie drops an F-bomb. Good thing, good thing we're back to the F-bombs. It almost, it, it almost feels like home. Uh, <laughs> they, and as they're talking, the preacher says, well, there's this little girl back in the village um, and her daddy was, a was, was killed by a crazy man with a little girl. So dun, 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 the girl whose father died was the dude that Joel killed back at the university when he got the broken baseball bat jammed in his gut. Ooh, tension. <laughs> so the preacher, uh, the preacher's friend comes up behind Ellie with a gun and Ellie draws down on him with the, with the rifle. And uh, he's like, yeah, give me the, give me the medicine. 
and put it down on the ground. And uh, so he, he gives up the medicine. And then Ellie grabs the medicine and runs away back towards Joel. And Ellie injects the penicillin eventually into Joel. And then it cuts back to the village. Everybody's sitting there. It's time to start cooking the evening meal. And uh, they bring in the big, big uh, chunk of big, uh, I guess is what, a container of red meat. And uh, the, the wife of the dead guy asks, well, what is that? And the guy says, mm, venison. The preacher comes back with the venison. It's really, really quiet in the restaurant when the preacher comes in. So was it really venison they cooked or not? Well, stay tuned. The preacher comes back and uh, he says that uh, they'll track Ellie in the morning. And the, the dead guy's daughter says, I think we should kill him. And then preacher just pimp slaps her off her chair. And, and they start, then he get he free. He asks for her forgiveness and they, they, they make up. He's, he's, he's kind of a violent guy. We're starting to see a little violent trend here in preacher David. That's his name, by the way, David. And then it cuts back to Ellie and she sees like a murder of crows taking flight off in the distance. And she knows that somebody's coming because the crows have left. And so she's, she's looking around and then, it's the search party from the village that she sees. So she runs back. She tries to wake up Joel. He's, he's still unconscious from his, his battle with infection and being jammed in the gut with a broken baseball bat. Uh, she drops an F-bomb to try to help wake him up, I guess. She gives Joel a knife, puts it on his chest, and says to kill anyone that comes in the house and comes down there. And then she drops another F-bomb and takes off. She runs outside. She jumps on the horse, and she rides around the, the, the little village they were hiding in and she gets the drop on him. She rides up on them and then she drops a mother F bomb. That's a good one. So Ellie drops the mother F bomb and starts shooting at him with a pistol. And then she rides away. And as she's riding away, blam, they shoot the horse out from under her. She goes, ah, flips over the horse. The horse is gone. And Ellie's like, bam, impacts the, the snow and ice. And she's kind of knocked dazed a little bit. Ellie just eventually loses consciousness and David, the preacher takes her. The rest of the group, they continue to look for Joel because they're going to kill Joel. Then Joel starts to wake up when he hears footprints, uh, footprints, when he hears footsteps above him. He's in the basement. So it's on the main floor. He starts hearing footsteps. And then the dude comes down the stairs and he's looking around for Joel in the basement. And Joel like, rah, stabs him in the neck and kills him. And then it cuts to Ellie in a cell back in the, in, uh, the Silver Lake Village. It's more like, like a dog kennel or something. It was like his little cage. In the in the in this restaurant, in the kitchen of the restaurant, and David says, "Look, yeah, everybody wants to kill you, but uh, you know, we you know, you don't have to be killed. Just you know, we can raise you, and you can be part of us." Ellie drops an f bomb, and then it cuts back to the rest of the guys hunting for Joel. Uh, Joel takes out another guy, and then another dude comes around the corner and sees the body of his friend. And while he's doing that, Joel runs up and bam, blasts him in the back of the head with the butt of the rifle and knocks him out. And then it wakes up to a really cool scene. <laughs> it's really cool. Dude wakes up. He's tied up on the floor. The guy that got, uh, got bashed with the butt of the rifle. He's tied up on the floor, looking at his other friend who is just having the living bejesus beaten out of him by Joel. I mean, Joel's just, just dropping the fist bombs on him. And he's, so he's just watching, and then he basically is just watching Joel just full out torture this dude to find out where Ellie is. And eventually, Joel just takes his hunting knife and drives it straight into the guy's leg just above the kneecap. And the guy screams, and the other dude on the floor is like freaking out. And then he's just like, Tell me where the girl is. And uh, the guy's resisting. So that he says, look, you know, tell me where the girl is or I'll pop your kneecap off. And the dude says, I don't know any girl. So Joel twists the knife right above his kneecap. And the guy screams. He goes, okay, 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 okay. I'll tell you where Ellie is. And it doesn't say his name. Tell you where the girl is. And you, Joel says, I, you better he jams the knife backwards into the guy's mouth with a hilt in the guy's mouth and says, point on this map. And you better hope that your friend points to exactly the same point. And so the guy on the map he points with his teeth with the with the point of the knife where their village is. And as soon as he does that, Joel just blah, jams the knife in him and kills him anyway. And then Joel grabs a, a big steel pipe and goes after the other dude. And the other dude's like, wait, 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 wait. He, he was telling you the truth. You know, I'll tell you. And he's like, yeah, I believe him. Blam. And the guy, and, and Joel just blasts the guy with the steel pipe and kills him. Just takes him out entirely. He's gone back to his killer ways. 
And uh, so both dudes are dead. And Joel's t- it's time for Joel to leave, I guess. So then it cuts to Ellie. She's trying to escape from the cage. She's looking around and she sees a human ear on the floor next to the next to the cutting board. And that's when David comes in and offers her some stew that's uh, not venison. And Ellie's like, oh, my God, you're eating people and drops an F-bomb. And then David starts to talk to Ellie about, yeah, you know, you can be part of this. I don't have to don't have to do that. Don't have to chop you up in a little bit. Uh, you, you can you can just come and be part of the group. And Ellie says, you know, no. And David starts to get a little creepy with Ellie you know, and kind of looking like a child bride situation. Uh, he gets too close to Ellie. Ellie grabs his finger and breaks it. And he's like, ah, he calls her a cunt and says that she'll be chopped up into tiny pieces. And then he leaves. And then it's like through like this mist and snow, Joel makes it to the village. Joel gets there and he breaks into this shed. And in the shed, he finds Ellie's backpack. And then he finds his dead horse. And then he finds a few human bodies hanging up that have been chopped up a little bit. And he's like, oh my God. And then it cuts to Ellie. The two David and Jesse are, are like wrestling her out of the cell and they're putting her on the chopping block. And David's got the he's got the uh what do you call it? The cleaver? He's got the cleaver in his hand. And then Ellie's like, No, no, I'm infected. And she well, she bit David and she's like, I'm infected. And they're like, No, you're not. She's like, Look at my arm, look at my arm. And then so they they she David drives the cleaver into the chopping board and they pull up her sleeve. And they're like, whoa, wait a minute. And while they're talking, saying, well, she can't be infected because, you know, nobody infected, you know, lives this long. And And while they're having this little banter back and forth, Ellie reaches up, grabs a cleaver and chops Jesse in the neck. And Jesse's like, blood spurting and he falls against the wall. And then she jumps off the table and runs away from David. David grabs a cleaver and comes after her. Now in the game, this was the beginning of a major, major boss fight with David in the restaurant. And so we're like, hey, cool, this is David. We're going to get into it. And uh, it's it's playing out very game-like. Ellie's hiding from David in a part of the restaurant. David comes around the corner. And Ellie, like, throws a piece of burning wood at him. A little different in the movie, but still, the restaurant catches on fire because, of course, if there's any curtains in a movie and there's fire around, the curtains are going to catch on fire, which is what happened here. Ellie threw the wood and landed near the curtains and caught the curtains on fire really quickly. Um, so now the restaurant is catching on fire. And now in the game... Ellie and David are having this deal where they're they're hiding from each other and stalking each other. It's like, it's like this, this mutual hiding and stalking of each other. And in the game, Ellie had to had to like hit him, you know, like you know, cut him with a knife like three times to to win the win the boss fight. So uh, you, let's see. We're, we're, I'm, I'm excited to see how this this will go. Does she have to get him three times, or is it going to work out with just one? But it's very very game like. You had to, in the game, you had to like run from table to table and hide behind these booths and things, and David would find you. Then you got to go find David and jump out and, and tag him with a knife. Uh, so that's what's happening. They're running from table to table. They're darting in and out of the kitchen. While she's in the kitchen, she grabs a knife, and she's hiding again. David comes there, and then she jumps out, and she stabs David. All right, she's hit him once and runs off. So is this going to be like the game? Are we going to have to do a three-hit fight just like in the game? Well, no, because David knocks her to the ground. And Ellie's on the ground. Ah, her knife is flung away. And then David starts talking about, oh, don't be afraid of love. And then he starts to get real grapey with her. Eh, you know what I mean? And while she, he's trying to do that, she she manages to reach the cleaver. And she chops him for hit number two. And he falls back. Ah, is she going to run away? Is she going to run away and wait for hit number three? No. No, she goes full on Joel. Uh, you know, she jumps on top of him and just starts chopping the crap out of him with the cleaver. And like the total hits were way more than three times, like way more, 24 times to be exact, uh, like twice with the knife and uh, then like 22 times with the cleaver. And in the game, Joel stopped her, but that didn't happen here. She just chopped away and chopped away and chopped away. And she leaves the restaurant and Joel finds her just outside the restaurant. There's hugs and there's tears. I got a little emotional there. It was a little emotional reunion. They walk off towards the lake and that's the end. There's one more episode. This is way better than I I even could have dreamed it would be. This is great. I don't want the season to end because I don't want them to make season two and follow the season two game, which sucked. 
I don't want him to go down that way, but I think they're going to, and that's going to really, really disappoint me because I hated the second game. I just hated it. It was just, the, the story was dumb and all of the, I mean, it, it was like, you know, the, 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 the rainbow connection. Ah, it was just like, anyway, hopefully we won't have to talk about it, but if we do, we'll do. But that's the end of episode eight. We're going to be doing episode nine real quick. So stay tuned. And thank you for joining me for The Last of Us, season one, episode eight, a spoiler-filled, unprofessional, unedited, one-take review. Legal Vices, the Law Racks, saying peace out. Bye.